Hi, I'm John Mayfield, the business tech guy with your two minute tech tip. Now in our final video for I annotate, I want to show you another really cool feature. Now remember in I annotate, you want to go to connections and then find the connected Dropbox or Google Drive that you're using. I'm using Dropbox, so I'll find the W9 form that we've been working on. Now remember, we've been able to type text, we've been able to check mark, even add a sound clip, and we've been able to digitally sign our document with our finger. Today, we'll select the plus button and I'll show you several other interesting features. Now, there is a menu across the top, as you can see. We're looking at the annotated tools, and now we're looking at the navigation tools. So if you're working in a bigger, larger document, the navigation and view tools are pretty handy for those types of situations, as well as the menu for document tools. Again, these are ideal for bigger files you might be working within. There are utility tools, and then if you want to look at all of the tools, the final menu button is available. Today, let's take a look at adding a stamp with a specific image. I'm going to select the document with my finger in the middle of the document, and now up in the top right corner, you'll notice the word stamp. I'll select stamp, there are hundreds of stamps to choose from. We'll pick the sold sign. And now even if we want to rotate the sold sign, we can go up, select the rotating option. With our two fingers, we can rotate the image, move it around anywhere on the document that you want to. So you can sign, make check marks, add type text, add graphics, and so much more with I annotate. I hope you enjoyed this two minute tech tip. Check out all of our resources at businesstechguy.com.